of humanity, this side of people who are very underrepresented and very misunderstood and underappreciated. And it really makes you think the struggles they go through. Because a lot of people, it, it pisses me off because there was a, a video that came up on YouTube recently that YouTube did in conjunction, conjunction with the pride stuff that's going on. And it was a very nice video. It was showcasing a lot of people who are within the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Uh, and they were telling their stories and they were saying that they shouldn't feel bad for who they are and that society wanted them to fit in, but then they needed to just be true to themselves. A lot of very nice messages. And the comment section is a fucking cancer zone. Sorry to use that kind of terminology for that. But it's like the comment section is an absolute disease. It's so many people being so vitriolic and so toxic and so many dislikes. It's just horrible to see. And I know it's like, it's to be expected because it's the fucking internet and the internet is horrible when it wants to be. But it's a lot of these people coming out and saying that I am proud of who I am. This is who I want to be. This is who I am. And the comments are basically saying, no, fuck you. You're not allowed to be that because it upsets me. You should never ever feel bad being who you are at the cost of upsetting other people. You should be allowed to be who you are, who you want to be, to be safe and comfortable in your own skin and not feel attacked in that. It sucks that people in this day and age with rampant terrorism that goes around everywhere, that people don't even feel safe in their own streets sometimes with some of the attacks that happen. Sometimes people don't even feel safe in their own houses. I've seen a lot of YouTuber people who have gotten death threats, who have gotten people saying that they're going to send hitmen to their houses, that they're going to send somebody to come over and kill and rape their family. And that's horrible. That's in their own house. Imagine how it feels to not even feel safe in your own skin. That you can't even feel safe in your own house because the internet is right there and there's so many people ready and willing to attack you right then and there. I can't even imagine. I'm, I'm in a, a very privileged position that being being a white male, let's let's put it that way, I, I haven't had to face many struggles growing up in life. A lot of stuff was just there. I got to do what I wanted, go out and aim for my dreams and try and accomplish them with very few barriers in my way. And I am an English speaking person as well, which it just exemplifies all that again. Um, I didn't take any of it for granted. I... I know I'm very lucky with what I have, and especially when it comes to YouTube stuff as well. So I'm trying, always trying to give back and trying to always interact and do what I can because not everyone in this life is able to do what they want. A lot of people face a lot of extreme barriers, whether it be prejudice um, for their sexual orientation, um, their gender identity, their the color of their skin. Whatever, there's so many things to go over and I'm going to miss some of them, so I'm not going to list as many as I can. Um, so it sucks, and I, I just hope that the, the world will get to a place where a lot of this stuff is more accepted. The old social justice warrior all you want. Sure, there are sides of things that go maybe a bit too far, that try and shove it in your face a bit too much. Um, but I mean, is that really a bad thing? It's still people trying to figure out how to make the world a better place. It's probably an overcorrection to an issue that does need to be addressed um, because I'd rather have that extreme end of the spectrum than the opposite extreme end of the spectrum with the bigotry, the racism, the sheer aggressive attitude and the closing off of your mind to absolutely any sort of ideals. So if you're out there and you're feeling discriminated, if you're feeling alone, if you're feeling like there's absolutely nowhere else to turn, there absolutely is. There's always somewhere to turn. There's always someone that's willing to listen. There's always somebody going through the same thing that you're going through. It just takes time to be able to find them and to be able to open up. So just hang in there and be strong and keep up that good fight because brighter days are ahead. As I said before, it may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week. But brighter days are ahead and they will happen. And you will be happier than you've ever been before because of that. Because of that patience. I know it's hard. I know there's a struggle there. I can't even begin to imagine what it's like to go through that.
but I believe in you. So hang in there.